Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to add fog to pretty much any photo. So here we have this nice lake scene and I really want to add fog that's kind of steaming off the lake here. And so the, fir the first thing we need to get this started is we actually need a cloud layer. We actually need an image of a cloud. And so I have this image here, and it's it, this is a really good image to use because it has a lot of whites in the image, has a lot of darker elements in the image, uh, and it's just kind of uh, color going all over the place, which is kind of what you need. You don't you don't really want to use an image that has uh, blue skies and white clouds because the color variance is not going to be that much. So you want to make sure you have a really kind of cloudy sky. And so the first thing we need to do is just move this over to our lake scene here. And you can see it's kind of small. I just need to expand it out a little bit, do Command or Control T to transform it. And I'm just going to scale it out. It will start to pixelate after a little bit, which is fine because we're just going to end up blurring this. So it won't give, uh, the, the definition won't really need to be there. I'm going to do a perspective warp as well. Just right click on that and do perspective warp. And I just want to kind of per do a little bit of a perspective here to where it kind of comes off the lake. And I just want to have it go to right around there just like that. I can actually span this out a little more. So just like that. I'm going to hit enter there. And now this is basically our fog that we're going to play with. So now I need to change my blending mode to screen. Screen will take away the darker parts of the image. You can see we have just the lighter parts of the image showing. Uh, and this kind of is uh, the definition of our clouds. Uh, now we need to go ahead and do a blur to this layer. So I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and you just want enough blur to where the definition of the clouds is actually kind of being removed. So even here around 25, uh, you still got a little bit of definition. So I'm going to bump this up to around 31, 32, somewhere around there for this particular image. It might be different with your image, but just play with it to see if you kind of get it looking similar to this. Now I'm just going to click OK. And now before we start doing any sort of removal of fog or adding fog or anything, we actually need to duplicate this layer. So I'm going to go down here, drag this down, and duplicate this. And now this is going to allow us to add different kind of fog in different areas. So I'm just going to move this around so I can add a little more fog over in this area, just like that. And there we go. All right, so now what we need to do is actually just go ahead and group these together. I just going to highlight both of them, click Command and Control G, and now we have a group, and this is our fog here. So one thing I like to do, uh, instead of just playing with the opacity like this to kind of decrease the intensity, I actually like to make a, an adjustment layer down here, get a really soft brush, make sure my color is uh, on uh, black here. I have a black color on the foreground, and take my opacity of the brush to around 30, and the flow to roughly around 35 and I just paint away some of the fog here trying to get rid of that some of those harsh edges uh, just like that uh, and I can even start painting away some on this little pier area here this will kind of make it look like the fog is under the pier I don't want to make it just look too stark but I still want to keep a little bit there and if I mess up if I if I take too much away just like that I did here I can just change my color back to black and just kind of paint a little bit more just like that and just kind of play around with it be art artsy with it just kind of play around add fog where it needs to go and we can always go back and change this a little bit later so just about to finish up here just playing with this there we go all right now one of our last steps is actually to adjust the color obviously this is really bright white compared to our scene so we just need to adjust the color so there's actually two ways that we can do this one way is kind of an easy way and an overall way and that is to add a photo filter so we can go down here to the adjustment layers here and choose photo filter we can get kind of a warmer filter because this scene is warmer and just kind of play with this drag this up and you can see it kind of blends in a little bit it changes the sky but it also blends in a little bit with the fog and we can actually take the fog down to try to sell this a little bit more so just like that uh, that's an okay way of doing it there is another way I'm going to show you but this is kind of a easy overall way if you don't want to get too t uh, time intensive with it so I'm going to take the opacity back up on that layer and I'm just going to delete this photo filter layer and now I'm going to go get a hue saturation adjustment layer and here is where I'm going to clip this hue saturation adjustment layer to the cloud so it only affects the clouds and not the rest of the image so I'm going to hold alt or option click between those two layers and now any adjustments I make are only going to affect that cloud layer. So now I can start playing with the colors. I can go down here and just kind of play with the colors, see if I can get something to match. You may also try colorizing your layer so it kind of gives a really nice color to it here. Take the saturation, play with that a little bit, take the brightness down or the lightness there. 
uh, try to get a color that sort of matches the scene. So let's play with this color. This is an okay color, so let's play with that. Now we can take the opacity of the fog layer and drop that down to try to sell it again a little bit more. So just like that, and we can still play with the color just to try to make sure we get it right. So let's go with that. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the way that looks out. So now uh, if, we, if we look over the image and we want a little bit more fog here, we can actually go back to the adjustment layer, get our white brush, kind of paint that a little bit over there just to bring it in a little bit. There we go. Okay, so that is basically our, our fog added to our, our lake. Again, if we want to take the opacity down just to have not as not as much, this is where kind of where we started. If we want to have not as much, we can just kind of play with the opacity. And there we go. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial on how to add fog to your photos in Photoshop. Make sure you visit SleekLens.com for more Photoshop tutorials. This has been Jordan from SleekLens, and I'll see you in the next video.